given. Let us discuss this result. So we have a series here summation n, n running from 1 to infinity. They have given summation n is a convergent series and we have to prove that limit n tends to infinity n is equal to 0. This thing we have to prove. So what will we do? We will consider Sn be a sequence of partial sum. Let me write here. Let Sn be a sequence of partial sum of series that summation a n n running from 1 to infinity. So you are familiar with a sequence of partial sum s n that means sum of first n uh, terms right. So that is our s n. See we have a series summation n is convergent series. So that's why corresponding sequence of partial sum is also convergent. So let me mention that thing we have we have summation a n is convergent. So this is a convergent series we have. So therefore sequence S n which is a sequence of partial sum that is also convergent is convergent and and S n converges to S. Okay, We are considering this thing as the series sequence is convergent it converges to some point we are calling it as S getting the same thing we can write in this way also that is limit n tends to infinity Sn is equal to S. Okay, So the same thing we can write in terms of limit also. So let us go further. So you know that Sn is a sequence of partial sum. That means if you add first n terms of that series uh, summation n, then we get a Sn. So let me write that thing. We know that we know that Sn. Okay. Sn that means sum of first n terms of this series. So a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus and so on a n minus 1 plus a n right. Similarly s n minus 1 what it means s n minus 1 that means sum of first n minus 1 terms. So that's why s n minus 1 will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus and so on a n minus 1 ok. So s n minus 1 will have only first n minus 1 terms right. So let us subtract second from first I am subtracting second equation from first then what will we get that means s n minus s n minus 1. So if you subtract a 1 minus a 1 will get cancelled a 2 minus a 2 will get cancelled a 3 a 3 will get cancelled similarly a n minus 1 and a n minus 1 will get cancelled only one term will be there that is a n ok. So if you subtract, we will have simply n, all remaining terms will get cancelled to each other. So let us apply the limit to both sides. So limit n tends to infinity s n, as subtraction is there, we can apply separate, separate limit, okay, s n minus 1, which is equal to limit n tends to infinity n. But as we know, limit n tends to infinity s n is equal to s, that means that sequence s n converges to s. So if you remove one term getting then also that uh, corresponding sequence will converge to the same point ok. So Sn minus 1 can be easily obtained just by removing one term from Sn but as Sn converges to S, Sn minus 1 also converges to S only. So that's why we will have S minus S is equal to limit n tends to infinity a n. So S minus S will get cancelled to each other and we will have limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to 0. So in this way we have proved this thing getting. So that means what is our conclusion if the given series is convergent series then limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to 0. Okay. So proof is over here make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.